tell you, first these folk berries. What is them? Folk berries. Old people said there's poison, but they really, if you eat a whole bunch of them, they probably would, but uh, a lot of people use them for arthritis. Yep. Won't hurt you. How they taste? Well, not the best of Not too but, good. <laughs> but anyhow, this old meal. So how long have we been down here at this place? About 22 years. 22 years. That wood miser is an 87 model. What'd you buy that wood miser for? We bought it to build a saw out the house, build a house up there. That's the reason we bought it. And we sawed a lot more besides that. Yeah, we sawed a bunch. We used to be set up at another place. This, we built this as double end trim saws, trim pallet lumber. You can trim anywhere from 40 inches to 48 inches. Our operator there is cut off. So tell us about the, a lot of people look, so I've got a lot of comments on how dangerous everything looks around here, but tell us how this works, that, that this ain't really dangerous. Well, it's really not dangerous because this is all guarded. You can't get into it no way, but when you put your block on there, your hand is always, you pull your lever back, your hand is always in here. Yeah. They're not even close to the saw. So it's really not dangerous. I mean, unless you was just a... A dummy. Yeah. You you yeah. probably won't get cut it's or killed. No. Okay. No one's ever been hurt on it. So uh, far. So far. So far. I guess you could have a stroke. Oh, uh, you possibly could. So what? what is the... Tell us the name of this mill right here. Well... Because I couldn't remember what it was. And I don't know if we know what it is. I'm not sure what the name of this one is. But anyhow, this is originally built for making barrels. Sewing barrel lumber. Because barrel lumber had to be straight grain because it's bending it. Yeah. So that's the reason to, it's called a short block mill. But it's really not dangerous either because it's got this up here to keep a log from catching and throwing back. Actually, it's got a place for another saw right here. Uh huh. That'd, yeah. be a, that'd be a heck of a log. Oh, yeah, you can saw a pretty big, probably 22, 23, probably a 30 inch block if you had another saw up there. Uh huh. But it's really not dangerous either. So, <clears throat> tell about these teeth. But these is not carbide teeth. No, these is inserted tooth. You stick a wrench in there and pull that ring out and put a new tooth in. There was... Inflation's run wild. I remember when a box of them was $9 at Old Man Graham's hardware store. The last box I bought was $130 <laughs> for 100 <laughs> Well, it's kind of like pickup trucks. $78,000 for a pickup truck now. <laughs> but me and you was the one set this in here first, and we had it rigged up, pull it up with the tractor right over where's the hole where the shaft went through, and you backed the set tractor the, out there. Off the PTO. Yeah, off the PTO. Yeah. Then we got modern and put everything electric. Yeah, we didn't have no <laughs> uh, motor to it at first, just the tractor. Well... <clears throat> now the one that has probably got the, the most attention, let's talk a little bit about this gang saw. So now, <clears throat> what is a gang saw all used for? Most of the gang saw was used for cutting different width. You can put, it's got spacers in it. You can put as many blades on there as your motor to pull. We saw in pallet runners, pallet lumber. <clears throat> so, in here, we'll see if we can. <clears throat> so, tell us about the kickback on these. It's not really got no kickback. So, you've got these right here. It comes down and keeps the board from kicking back. But even without them, with a double, uh, what do you call these rollers with these? Uh, paired take, rollers, paired. double paired rollers. Uh, it keeps it pushed, keeps the pressure on it. Keeps the pressure on it. It's, it don't have as much kickback probably as a table saw does. Now, 
So the the side over here, this is where you pretty hard. It'd be pretty hard to get in there to get hurt, wouldn't it? It'd about be impossible. You just have to be a total nut and stick your hand up in there and hit running. But that's how you change it. This this comes out and the bearing comes off of it. And you change it. You can see the spacers here. And you put your put your blades back. And we've made everything from uh, biker sticks to pallet lumber. Yeah, and siding for houses and uh, boarding uh, bat the battens for boarding batten. Um, it works real good on making battens, don't it? it works great for batten. About three <coughs> inch batten, five inch wide, makes a great bat. And we used to have a. We ain't been sawing a lot here lately, but we had these things hooked up to that dust collector thing over there. Really ain't a collector. It mostly just shoots it out there. It, yeah, it still hooks up. <clears throat> had it run underneath here and into that squirrel cage and then hit blow out there. Uh, base. You can see if it's still. Yeah, it, well, it, I don't know. It kind of sounds like it's hung up. No, oh, it's a trim style. Right. Oh, okay. Nothing. this and so tell the difference between this one and the one of setting out yonder about how the carriage works on it uh, this one runs off of a cable and a belt here's the belt right here that turns you off see the belt in the mm -hmm. it runs off cable and belt and that out there is really a newer model it's called hydraulic that one out there is really not that old so we got another one setting out here we're letting it weather <laughs> and uh we did have it covered up for a long time uh and tell about uh show do you show your foot pedals there about how that thing you got one forward and one reverse now what about your See it. Yeah, it's got it's got uh, one, two, three, four settings on it. Uh huh. So you can saw up. That's a six. That's a three and a half. That's a that's probably three and a half. And you got this one. I think this one was an inch and a half. Yeah, that's an inch and a half. That's three and a half. Five and a half. That was five and a half. I guess that's a six. Yeah. Something like that. <clears throat> you got an old skidway here. We you can tell we ain't sawed none in a while. Look at the it's grown up. Got to clear her out a little bit. But uh, now. <clears throat> You've uh, sawmilled and construction. That's been your life pretty much, ain't it? Pretty much. Sure has. Yeah. The last 20 years, we started building houses like crazy. So we went from doing welding and millwright work to building houses. <laughs> yep. All right, folks. I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of the, the mill tour. And uh, we'll get back to you. I got some logs I've got to saw. And uh, probably it ain't going to be long. It'll be snowing, will it? No long. It gets a snowing, maybe we'll saw some logs. All right, guys. That's all for now.